It was a clear, ordinary Aussie night. The weatherman deceived me. My son asleep on the couch. My identical twin brother failing miserably at Flex Friday. And I was experiencing typical evening speeds of 50 megabits per second. <laughs> yeah, boy. I went and had a looky loo at what my favourite YouTube channel, DP Review, were up to. Ooh, M1 versus Intel. Chris Nichols was using an Aero 15 packed with an RTX 3080 and an Intel i9 processor. With those specs and price, that's going to decimate my Legion 5 Pro. Especially in DaVinci Resolve. Or would it? G'day everyone, welcome to Ben's Breakdown. This video is a big shout out to Chris Nichols and Jordan Drake over at DP Review. I've been watching these two guys every week for about seven years now. However, the Nikon Z7 II has the best dynamic range, and that's more... They're exceptional tech reviewers, as well as having a great sense of humor. With that being said, Chris dropped a fair chunk of change on the Aero 15, and I think he may have made a mistake. When Chris put his Aero 15 up against an M1 iMac, the 3080 and Intel i9 barely scraped ahead in video editing. Now, neither of these computers are slouches. They both handled one stream of 5.9K 10-bit footage without lag. But once they had two, two stack layers of 5.9K 10-bit footage, then both of them dropped enormously. I and mean, we're looking at like one, two frames per second while you're working with those. Now, when I first heard that, it was a bit of a shock. But since I've gotten out of hospital and my brain swelling has subsided, I think the Legion 5 Pro has a pretty decent chance of beating the Aero's editing performance. So I've downloaded some 5.9K 10-bit footage and plopped it onto a 4K timeline with a preview set to 4K just like DP Review used. The only variables I couldn't control is the frame rate and the display resolution. This clip is 25 frames per second and DP Review were filming at 24. The Aero is also a 4K 60Hz screen. I personally don't think this will affect much for DaVinci Resolve as I noticed no difference to FPS when reducing my screen resolution. So, in the words of another Aussie that played a hairy Canadian with pointy knife fingers... Let's do this. So I have five streams of 5.9K 10-bit footage and I've got them set up to come on every 15 seconds. So let's start with the first one. And that is buttery smooth. These all have color grading applied. Some have been resized. And we're about to come up to the second one. This is where the Aero 15 really started to chug. And there we have it. Full quality playback on a 4K timeline with two streams of 5.9K 10-bit footage. So we're already doing better than the Aero. Three, and it is still playing back smoothly. This is better than I thought I was gonna get. I thought I was gonna get two, not three. All right, let's go for broke. I highly doubt we're gonna get four. Yep, so we've now dropped frames. How many are we looking at? I reckon we're probably getting 20 frames, maybe even less than that. That is seriously impressive for a 3070 mobile, given that this is $1,500 less than the Aero 15. Good job, mate. Oh, I thought we were more than mates. Now, before I can say without a shadow of a doubt that my Legion 5 Pro kicks the nickels out of the Aero 15 for video editing, I have to test export times. I'm rendering out a 30 second 4K timeline with two streams of 5.9K footage. Let's export in three, two, one. Six. 
So Jordan's M1 finished in one minute and six seconds. Chris's Aero finished in 54. And the Legion 5 Pro finished in 31 seconds. So I think I can finally say, Chris Nichols, you bought the wrong laptop. <laughs> what? Jokes aside, there are loads of factors when choosing a laptop. And for Chris, the Aero might have had everything he needs. I mean, you've got a gorgeous OLED screen, Thunderbolt 4, full-size SD card slot, it's thin, it's light, it's well-made, and last year's Aero was extremely well-reviewed. Kind of sounds like I should get the Aero. But if you prioritize video editing performance over the Aero 15's advantages, save yourself 1,500 Aussie buckaroos and try and get your hands on the Legion 5 Pro. If you enjoyed this video, it would be awesome to send it DP Reviews way and share this with your mates. If you have any questions about the Legion 5 Pro or other tests you want me to run, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Mate, where's me dumbbells? Did you just say dumbbells? Mm-hmm. <laughs>